lot of experimentation. And that further experimentation is a set of five 200-foot passes, which is as low as we can legally go, lower than anything seen outside the training zone. These things are coming in so low, we're not going to see them until they're on top of us. Well, we're ready now. Wow. That's intense. Copy, Tyson, give us the mirror. Ready, hit it. That kind of wakes you up in the morning. <laughs> well, that right there were five sonic booms hitting that house and the car and the glassware at 200 feet. I got to go check it out. What the heck? Nothing. Like the glassware, the car escaped unscathed. Well, it didn't break it, but it knocked off the rear view mirror. Well, almost. But over at the house, it's a whole different story. That's what I'm talking about. That is one broken window. It not only broke it, but it just like shattered every little bit to smithereens. So it can happen. <laughs> oh no! So it is possible to break glass with a sonic boom. but not any old glass from any old sonic boot. The glassware is intact, and it was the warping of the window frame that led to the only breakage. And let's face it, that only happened after the low altitude passes that just don't happen anywhere but in these restricted training zones. So Tyson, I've been meaning to ask you, we're out here in the desert. You look like you just came from the laundry with that thing. What do you do if you, you know, spill your lunch on it? I don't. Oh, OK. Well, I'm looking at a broken piece of glass here, man. Does that mean the fans are vindicated? That's the only thing that the sonic boom broke. What about all the other glass that didn't break? There were car windows. There was a table full of this kind of stuff. None of it broke. Well, I mean, the myth clearly states that any sonic boom will break any glass, and apparently that didn't happen. And we had to fly the jet in at ridiculously low levels to make this break. Well, then I think the answer is pretty clear. It's busted. Totally busted.